Hey, what's going on, everyone? Brennan here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're here in NASCAR Heat Evolution for race 32 at 36 here at Talladega for the Alabama 500 for race 3 in the round of 12. Last race was at, I believe, Kansas. Yes, and we ended up winning to advance ourselves to the round of 8, which is Martinsville, Texas, and Phoenix. So, we got no worry going in here to Talladega. Here's a look at the chase grid. Also, we are the only ones who have locked ourselves in so far to the round of eight. Uh, looking good for Jimmy Johnson, Jamie McMurray, Joe Logano, Brad Keselowski, and Carl Edwards. For Harvick and Hamlin, it's not looking too good because uh, Kurt Busch, Casey Kane, Matt Kenseth, Dale Earnhardt Jr. are all in striking distance to pass them up. So yeah, but as you know, I'm the only driver who has locked myself into the next round. So yeah, no stress going into Talladega. So we're gonna be driving the Science Logic car. Here's the race settings, by the way. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, Toyota Fast Fact number 27 at speeds of at, the, at a speed blah, 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 at a speed of 212.809 miles per hour, Bill Elliott drove the fastest qualifying lap in NASCAR history at Talladega Super Speedway in April of 1987. Thank you, Matt, the brat to Kansas for that uh, fast fact here at Talladega. So yeah, let's go ahead. We're not going to qualify or practice because there's no use. So let's get into it here. And here we go, get ready, the green flag is out, we are underway here at Talladega for the Alabama 500, who is going to advance themselves into the round of 8 here in the chase, and who is going to get eliminated. And we're around already. Matt Benedetto also in trouble. Man, I just got way too aggressive right there on the start. No caution, though, so... Wow, just got way aggressive right there. That was my fault all the way. I take the full blame for that right there. But now, that's not going to help us. It could, though. We could play some strategy to end up ultimately winning this race. We could. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try. Uh, we're only 8.2 seconds behind the leader. It's going to, of course, grow. Uh, we're 6.4 seconds behind Tyler Reddick, but eventually some cars will start to lose to draft, and we will definitely catch them, and we will draft with them and work together the best that we can to get back up there. Uh, so, yeah, 23 laps to go. Matt DiBedetto is currently 23 seconds behind me. Now he's closing in at 22.9, so, yeah, he'll probably catch me at some point if I keep running this slow, which I don't know why we're running this slow. Oh, wow, I just hit the wall. Leaders are nine seconds ahead of me now, so yeah, we're definitely losing a lot of time. We don't really have any damage, though, which is good, so I don't know. We could be in good shape. We'll just have to find out. But yeah, we're just riding around trying to get to the pit stop, uh, which should be happening in about eight laps or so. So yeah. It sucks, I can like see the cars up there. It's just like, I want to get there, but I can't. The cars kind of loosen the corners too, I don't know why. That's not going to help us at all. I'm hugging this double yellow line though down the straights and in the turns my best I can. See if that'll help at all. doesn't look to be I need a drafting partner but it ain't gonna happen because I'm not waiting for Matt Benedetto who's way back there because then that'll be stupid of me because um, I'll lose what 20 seconds say on David Reagan and be 28 seconds down compared to say once we pay it tw what 12 15 so I'm just trying to play this smart strategy here uh on the pit stop, I'll probably only take two tires, maybe even no tires. Just depends how bad the tire wear is once we do come down pit road. We'll just have to wait and see on that. I don't believe it's going to get horrible to where we can't take two, at least just two tires. But I'm hoping it's not bad so we can take zero tires and just fill it up with fuel. Because that will help out a lot and give us a better shot at getting up there to get the W.
Yeah, we're not really losing any time on David Reagan, which is good. 20, ago. 20 laps to go here at Talladega. Pit stop should be coming up here. Back to Around right now until the I would like it to come here pretty soon. I guess this is good time right now since I really never do this. Uh, go check out my social media, guys, um, down in the description below. Uh, I'm going to be running, I already tried to run a poll on my Facebook and Instagram, seeing which truck I should drive in NASCAR Heat 2 um, for Season 1 the Championship Season, because how that's going to work when NASCAR Heat 2 comes out, I'm going to do Championship Season 1 in the trucks, uh, Championship Season 2 in the Xfinity, and Season 3 in the Cup. And if I do go beyond that, I'll just restart. So, like, Season 4, we do get there, would be Trucks. Season 5 would be Xfinity, and Cup would be Season 6. So, yeah. That's how that's going to work. So, the truck starting out, I'm going to go let you guys vote who I, uh, I should drive for. Because why not, right? I'm not going to be doing the career mode. Uh, let's play. Only reason... Oh, wow, people are already coming down pit road. reason I'm not going to be doing a career let's play is because, like... Well, I actually might. It's not likely, but I might. Um, but if I can get a, my brother's account and uh, go ahead and record that, because like um, I want to do the career on my profile like by myself, because I like going at my own pace in career mode. That's why you guys didn't see career mode in this game. Not to mention that the career in this game was horrible. But yeah, that's one of the reasons you guys did not see a career in this game. On the I tried to, but just didn't work out because I just wanted to do it myself go on my own pace and uh, that's the reason you didn't see a career on this game so who knows we may see a career on the NASCAR Heat 2 and if we do then probably championship season won't be a thing but who knows we'll have to see once it gets there and man yeah people are already down pit road so we're going to come by take the lead and lead a lap uh, let's see tire wear tire wear is not too too bad. Uh, I believe we'll be able to make it to the end with this set of tires. It's going to be risky, um, but we might be able to. We're probably going to. I want a caution like bad. That's why I'm trying to stay out as long as possible. Because if the caution comes out, we might be able to make it to the end on fuel with a pit stop and four fresh tires. Well, compared to the other guys, they won't be able to. So I'm hoping for a caution right now. Where art thou, caution? Yellow on fuel. Great lap. That was a great lap, okay. We're gonna come down here. I'm thinking it's taking two tires right here. I'm trying to think. No, nah, I'm gonna take four right here actually. Just take four tires and fill it up with fuel right now. Because if no caution falls, we're gonna have to make another pit stop. Damn it, I sped. Alright, yeah, we're taking no tires now. <laughs> No tires, no repairs. Well, rip. Oh, Joe Logano looks like out of the race, so that could... I believe he is in the chase. Yeah, he is. That's going to hurt him a lot. Kane, too. I think Kane's in the chase, so... Tough breaks for those guys right there. Oh, 27 seconds. Yeah, we're done. It's done. Oh, damn it. Should be out. 
And now we gotta take our penalty. I man, that sucks. That's the only good thing about qualifying, because I can see where the line is. Thought it was the next one, because that was a white line, but I guess I was wrong. But all right, not too bad. We'll probably gain a little bit. I hope we're not in the last. Yeah, right now we're not. Yeah, we are. Never mind. Okay. Oh well. We'll be fine. Oh, we're definitely gonna have to make another pit stop. But who knows, we get a caution, we could be good, or this next pit stop, I'm for sure just going to take fuel. And I'm not going to speed this next time, so. We'll just have to see how it plays out. What's up, Joey? Alright, I'm going to try to get in Joey's draft. Damn it, Joey, get over here. Oh, I'm barely in this draft. I can feel the controller shaking. Oh man, I just went up the track. That's gonna hurt. Get over here, Joey. All right then. Why not? Man, we're sucking so bad this race. I'm gonna short pit these guys. All right, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. Got a strategy. So at least gain a little bit. Wow, other chasers look like having trouble. Dale Jr. is 36th right now. I believe, like I said, Logano is in the chase. I believe Kane, who is on pit road as well, is in the chase. So some chasers having some problems right now. Uh, Brad Keselowski, I believe, was leading the, is leading this race, actually, as we speak. Oh, wow, they're back on pit road. Man, they might not even make okay, it. I honestly don't think they're going to be able to make it because it's like, what, I think 10, mostly 9 laps on a fuel run. Minus 2, so about 7 laps on a fuel run. And there's 12 to go, so they might not make it, which is going to suck for them. Because uh, I'm going to make it. Um... So, yeah, wow, okay then. That makes me want to take four tires when I come back down, just to make sure, you know. Yeah, they're going to have to make another stop, no doubt about it. Okay, who is this coming out of the pits? Is that er, Labani? Junior, Junior, Dale Junior. No, that's Benedetto. All right, yeah, that's Matt Benedetto. Okay. Try to get up behind him, draft with him, my teammate. Yeah, I'm going to take tires, because I'm going slower than everyone. Ten laps to go. Ten to go, all right. We're about in our fuel window. Run another lap or, or two, just to make sure.
All right, we're on one more. One more. All right, pitting this time. Just got to make sure we can make it. Okay, we're going to take four tires and fuel. Four tires and fuel. Alright, let's get a good pit entry this time. Got it, alright. Four tires and fuel, four tires and fuel, please. Just lost the lead, that's alright. Alright, let's get it about 15 seconds, guys. Yeah, Kane's still on pit road. Wow, yeah, he's got major problems. 15.4, alright, come on, hurry up. Get it 15.3, that's the lowest they can go. Drop the jack, drop the jack. Go, all right. About 37th, all right, 36th, all righty then. Here comes Matt Benedetto. He'll probably blow right by me. Unless I can get it up to speed right here. Yeah, he's not gonna blow by me, never mind. Get some speed. He'll get close to me. I hope, and I'm hoping he does. I'd love that, so we could draft together. Uh, but yeah, just running my race right now. Good to the end on fuel. Good to the end on tires. Not worried about anything. There's my teammate in my rear view mirror. Gonna try to get him to get up to me so we could work together. That's why I'm running high right now. I want him to get by me. If this strategy doesn't work, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. I'm not going to lie. But... Ooh, I, I was going to try to get back down, but I did not want to wreck myself. Yep, that that hit the apron and got loose right there. Matt Bendel coming down pit road. Yep, people starting to pit. Good. There's Kyle. There's Brad. I think right there. Yeah, he was the race leader. There's Brad. We just took the race lead technically. Once it cycles around, and gosh, I think there's something on my foot. Oh, there is. There's a spider. No. Oh no. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh my god, where is it? I am scared now. Get off of my body. I'm gonna hurt you if you don't. Oh my god, I can't see it no more. Okay, it's gone, whatever. Oh my gosh, caution. Stay out. Damn it. Did not want to see that at all course we were going to caution free the whole race and then that this has to happen damn it man damn it that sucks so bad ah. are we on the lead lap at least yeah we're on the lead lap all right we're being aggressive what do we have to lose we got nothing to lose. Waiting to advance to green. You can go to green now. I hope you know that, NASCAR Heat Evolution. 
Please, can we go green now? The suspense is killing me. Five laps to go. Are we just not gonna go green? Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh, I'm the leader. <gasps> yes, we got this. All right, here we go. Get ready. Check those belts. We're coming to the green. Green flag is waving again. We are back underway here at Talladega for two, no, three laps. Three more times around here, Talladega. Can I hold off? Brad Keselowski, Jamie McMurray, Kyle Busch, and Regan Smith. They are charging all to the front as hard as they can. They know this is a race that they have to get good finishes at to advance into the round of eight for Brad Keselowski, Jamie McMurray, people like that, so they can advance. They need strong, good runs here, maybe even a win to just make sure that they advance and have no pressure and to say they put a win on the season. Me and Brad make contact. I went down to try to block, and he was there, and he's sideways. We make more contact. I'm back to the outside in the middle now. Here comes Regan Smith with Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick hits me. I go up the track. I save it. I'm in the wall. Me and Kyle Busch make contact. I'm back to 10. I'm falling back. I'm trying to get in line, and boom, I just got in line. I just got in line down the high line. All right, here we go. Two laps to go here around Talladega. Wow, what an eventful lap, slap right there. This uh, lap three. Now we're with two to go. Like I said, I am about 1.6 seconds behind the race leader. Trying to get the draft for Michael Annette with help from Carl Edwards behind me to try to get back up into the top 10 and go compete for that win. And remember, it's Talladega. Anything can happen. I could still get up there with a shot to win this race. Gonna take it to the outside of Michael Annette. Try to get a little bit of a draft off Denny Hamlin right there. Up ahead of me, the guy. And the, the last guy in line on the outside, I do not have enough of a run. I'm going to have to get back down in front of Annette. I'm behind Annette. Try to try it again off turn number four. Going to take it to the inside now. Try to get some kind of draft off anybody up there. As here we go through the trioval. Come to the white flag here at Talladega. One more time around. Brad Keselowski leads. I'm back in 18th. Can I get up there and win this race? Oh, my gosh. We're underneath Michael Annette. There's no way I'm going to win this race. But I want to try to for... Clear Bet that. Try for a top 10 because I believe a top 10 would be some nice momentum going into Martinsville, Texas, and Phoenix, which is the round of eight. Still there. Getting a draft from Michael McDowell. Menard comes up in front of me to try to block. I'm going to go to the very outside. Not the very outside. The lane before the very outside to get the draft off Denny Hamlin. Not going to be enough to probably get to the top 10, but Brad Keselowski that dominated this race, and as he brings his number two, Miller Light Ford, off turn number four. Looks like Brad Keselowski, as he goes through the trial will for the final time. Can he win here at Talladega to advance himself into the round of eight? He will. Brad Keselowski wins at Talladega, and we come across the line in 15th. Wow, damn it. I thought we was going to have something. Oops. Oh, man. All right, whatever. Good job, Brad. GG, man. GG. That was a good race right there, actually. Ah, but I thought we had something, but we didn't. Oh, my God. I don't know. That strategy was going to work. We were in good shape right there. But, oh, well. 15th, I'll take it. Uh, so, yeah, Brad Keselowski advanced himself. I advanced myself. And Jamie McMurray, Jimmy Johnson, Carl Edwards, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Denny Hamlin, and Kevin Harvick advanced. People who missed the... Uh, no, a round of eight is Joey Logano, Kurt Busch, Matt Kenseth, and Casey Kane. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a like. Go ahead and subscribe for more content and comment something in the comment section below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next video. Peace.